Hey, Jeff here, just checking in with some more progress on the Shapoko 3 build. Um, in order to start cranking out parts on this thing, I really needed to uh, create some kind of clamping system. And so after a lot of research on different forums, I came up with a three inch grid of uh, threaded inserts and I created these on a separate piece of N MDF that basically covers the work area of the Shapoko plus some. And um, basically after doing lots of different test holes and um, trying different bits and stuff, I ended up drilling four holes into the main wasteboard and putting threaded inserts in that and then creating an additional um, wasteboard and um, that can be clamped down with the four bolts. So basically using the Shapoko 3 to do most of the work, I milled out a three inch grid on the new wasteboard and put threaded inserts into each hole. These thread inserts I got from McMaster Car, uh, they're actually about a little over a half inch, so they stick out of the bottom of this MDF quite a bit. I just went, took the Dremel to them, cut them all off, and then filed them down. Um, so far with the Shapoko, I've just been experimenting with different uh, end mills. And I ordered a bunch just to experiment with different materials. I got all these end mills kind of ignorant to the fact that different coatings really affected the material that you're working with and I bought a bunch with a certain coating that is, actually has aluminum as part of it so it'll uh, kind of bond with the aluminum as you're cutting and make, make it really gummy and so uh, actually I actually have been using those for wood. I also needed a way to hold 8th inch bits in the DeWalt 611 router so I got an 8th inch collet um, and nut from precise bits and I got an additional quarter inch collet from them as well. So far uh, it's been working great. I really love the wrench you get with it. So so far I've milled a bunch, I've milled my logo into wood a few different ways. Uh, I, I milled it once with a V bit I kind of engraved it that way and, uh, and then I also milled it with an eighth inch square end mill. Here's my first aluminum cut, this little circle and it's actually not perfect. There's a, a little spots where you can see the tabs where I filed them down. Uh, and then I and then I milled my first part, my first aluminum part, which is a 90 degree bracket for my mutation build, just to hold the extrusion together. And it was something I just forgot to order from Open Builds when I bought all the parts. So this thing's starting to pay for itself, pretty much. Uh, if you know of any software that will help me out, I'd, uh, please say so in the comments. I'd love to check out all my options available, but so far I'm liking the workflow from Inkscape and Illustrator to MakerCam as far as just like profiling parts goes. So hoping to get back to the mutation build soon. Thanks for watching.